All right, hello and welcome. It's now a few days later. It is the 1st, April 1st, April Fools and all that. And so, in for the garden along with the Coterie and crowd there. Whoa, and I've got Y behind me. I've got Emma over there striking a pose and uh, Suzanne and Grayson over there doing similarly as we wrap up stuff. But much goodness has been done. Uh, so to start inside here looking at the roses, uh, we've uh, already done uh, watering, trimming, and cleaning up. So uh, Y is continuing some uh, rose pruning action <laughs> and all that. So quite a few things. There, a lot of stuff has been trimmed away from the, uh, uh, from the roses already. But uh, that's because we had tons and tons of uh, blossoms, as you can see right here. Quite a few. And so some further trimming is being done, keeping an eye on the rust and other such things. Society garlic is going well. We have the first flowering of the society garlic starting to kick in. There will be more of that soon, so that will be very good to see. Artichokes continuing to do well. As you can see, the big one is really starting to kick in some more. Just a few days along, and it looks like it's grown even bigger, so that will be a good sign. And why in a rose right here, especially sent on for people who appreciate such things. So, and they're out there. Okay, so over here. So we moved around some of the cages, sort of new strategies here. So the radishes we've now got caged up because while they're growing, they seem to also be being attacked a little bit more. So we're gonna give them a little extra protection. We've shifted over the cucumber cage over here. We've got at least two good blossoms coming in right there, one bigger than another. So we wanna help that along and see how it's going. So we will cross our fingers on the rest. Uh, the carrots. There is some tiny growth, but again, it might actually just be grass, we're not sure. So we're going to sort of take our chances here and let them sort of be a little more exposed to the elements, but they're still so small as yet it shouldn't cause too much worry. And the rosemary continues to just thrive. The sorrel right now is sort of like we're just seeing. It may take longer for it to get going, so we don't know yet. The tomatoes are uh, doing fine. Uh, we have the definitely three, this one, this one, and that one right there. There should be a fourth right here, but nothing as yet, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. The tulips, continuing to go well. As you can see, one is pretty much just getting close to flowering, and other ones are starting to come along, and new growth coming up as well. So it looks like we have a total of, I would say, what are we at here? One, two, three, it looks like we'll have eight. And there are 12 bulbs planted. There might be another, it looks like there might be some sort of initial bulb action coming over there, I'm not sure, so, but it'd be nice if we got a couple more here since we had a total of 12, but uh, we'll take eight over none. Uh, the flowers that have been planted over here, again, not quite too sure if we're just getting random stuff or this is a washout thing. We'll give it a little longer, but if nothing happens, we may plant it with some other flowers and see where it goes from there. The uh, squash, doing very well as the other day, and this over here, I had forgotten we had other tomatoes over here, so now we've set it up for uh, tomatoes down there and then some growth right there so we've got that going the edamame is now really starting to kick in over here quite a bit on this side of the bed and a little more over here not as much but it is there so uh, that's a good sign and hopefully these things will just continue to thrive uh, the lemon mint over here is that grass or lemon mint we we're thinking more grass but we'll see over here is the unfortunately slightly sad story of the beans, not really easy to see in shadow, but basically it looks like we've had snails and slugs at them, and quite a few of the leaves are now gone, unfortunately. So we've sort of rejigged the protection, which doesn't really help from above, uh, per se, but uh, with the cages on the side, even though the slugs may be a problem, we've got a little better so the snails can't really easily get through. So hopefully that will be of help, but we'll have to cross our fingers on that. Um, let's see, so with that in mind, otherwise, uh, this bed, we may be finally removing everything from it here. Next time through, we'll bring along some seeds and we might do some new planting. As uh, Marianne said, she didn't need this around anymore, so we'll see about that. Otherwise, however, everything pretty much fine. Uh, good growth all around uh, from all the various uh, local beds. Uh, torn up the weeds again, sort of beat them back. We're going to just keep maintaining and doing that. And uh, over there, Y is giving a quick Pruning lesson. Like that one that yeah, it'll it, keep those it from may or may not be a good thing to do at this point, so right. I'm going to leave that. Although I might just take this one off and let the other two. Because this one's taking a lot of energy here. Yeah. And these, these need some more. I can see that they're struggling a little bit with aphids, so. Uh, and a little bit on the strategy of how you prune roses. And in the meantime, uh, cleaning up the walkway here, and again, sort of just keeping an eye on maintaining. There'll always be some little growth, but a good scrape each week keeps uh, stuff away. Uh, the neighboring bed over here, it's already got some new grass being uh, coming back in, but uh, based on how well they've done everything, I'm sure that'll be gone here soon as they get ready to do their own planting, whatever it might be. So I can't wait to see how things get laid out once they do that. And again, everything else along this bed looking just fine. 
and lovely day, lovely past couple of days. The weather's been marvelous, uh, so it's been plenty of sun now with some water in. Hopefully it'll keep sparking things along, and Emma's still there <laughs> and doing her thing and all that. And anyway, so we're about uh, ready to wrap up here, so as we do serve some final care. So we'll see you all next week, next Tuesday. Suzanne and I will be out here doing a quick visit, see how things are going, give everything a water, and we'll take it from there. Talk to you all soon.